Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about prevention. It's been said that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I believe that. Um, not only is that a true statement, but it's also significantly cheaper. If you've been to the doctor or the hospital or the emergency room, you know just how expensive uh, medical care can be. I, I think a problem we have though is a lot of times we're very reactive in life. We react to things that happen to us and we don't realize the power that we have to be more proactive and choose the type of life, choose the kind of lifestyle, choose our health. And so um, and that's an important factor to think that we can do more on our end. We don't just have to respond to things. Uh, if you look at the leading causes of death, there are things like heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and, you know, and obviously those are compounded by obesity. And so a lot of those things are impacted by our lifestyle, by the choices we make. Um, now certainly there's genetic things and, and things that we don't have control over, but by and large, the type of life we live will determine the, the health we have and our longevity. Um, some, there are some examples, and I'll be the first to admit this, of, of when that doesn't make sense. Like look at George Burns. He was known for smoking a cigar. He always had one in his hand. He was a chain smoker. He lived to be 100. Look at Keith Richards. How is he still alive today? And then you look on the other end of the spectrum. Occasionally you'll hear of someone that's super healthy. They eat whole foods. They run marathons but they died of cancer or a heart attack in their 40s or 50s, you know. So there's, there's some strange fluke things like that. But for the most part, the type of attention we give our body, the type of care we give ourselves is going to, uh, we'll, we'll see the benefits of that in the long run. I think one of the best examples of prevention is in the dental industry. And as much as I hate going to the dentist, still to this day, I think they do a great job of reminding you that these things can be prevented by br brushing and flossing and taking care of yourself. Um, and just think of the, the pain and the money you can save, you know, not having to get that root canal if you would just do those simple things. I think the medical industry would uh, do well to follow their example and, and, and promote more uh, prevention instead of always just treating the, the problem after the fact. Anyway, there's probably some areas in your life that you could do a better job with prevention. Some in mind that come to mind is sometimes forgetting to wear my seatbelt. Um, if I'm going to be using heavy equipment or something dangerous, I got to use gloves or, or protective eye gear, things like that. If, uh, if you're going to be out in the sun to avoid sunburn, dress appropriately or use sunscreen, getting regular checkups or health screenings, eating uh, healthy food, exercising, all these sort of things are, are ways we can practice prevention. So my challenge for you is just to identify one or two areas where you can do a better job with prevention in your life. Find what things you know that you could uh, improve on and, and make a goal to uh, do better in those areas because it could pay off big time in the long run. One more thing before you go, I just want to acknowledge something. Um, I have seen the newspaper articles, the gossip columns, and the internet chat rooms talking about this channel and how some people think it's pretty boring with me just looking in the camera and talking all the time. And so I just want you to know um, it's going to get better. Although I know usually my demographics though, you probably put up with Mr. Rogers doing these uh, hushed tone monologues talking about Mr. McFeely and things like that for seven or eight minutes, so I know you can probably handle this, but I will make things more exciting. Um, I'm gonna have some superstar Hollywood blockbuster amazing guest stars on here, um, special effects, subliminal messages, um, all kinds of fun things. So stay tuned, give me a chance here, and these, these videos will get better. Um, anyway, if, I appreciate you watching this. I have a lot more good information to share with you, so feel free to uh, share this channel with others and subscribe to it and we'll talk to you tomorrow.